The other piece of background, which I just want to make sure that we're all okay with this, is that we're going to be dealing a lot with vectors. And this is something I, I'm sure everyone is very familiar with, but I just want to make sure that we're all on the same page. So if we think about some coordinate system, right, where we have our x and y axes. So if I show you a vector in this coordinate system, right, this is telling us something about some phenomenon, whatever it happens to be, might be a magnetic field, might be something else. This vector tells us two features of whatever it is that we're talking about. One is that it tells us the orientation, which is the orientation of the arrow. The other one is that it tells us something about the magnitude. So if this vector would represent velocity, this is telling us the direction in which whatever it is is moving, and the length of the vector is telling us how rapidly it's moving. The point that I want to just be totally clear about is that we can take this vector and decompose it into two components. Each one of these, right, parallel to the axes of our coordinate system. And these component vectors, right, so if this one is going to be If we're going to call this V, then we could call this, let's say, Vx and Vy. So these component vectors, if we add them together, we get the blue vector V. We can take the resultant or sum of those, the blue vector V, and decompose it into these two, regardless of which way I display this to you as the two components or as the resultant or sum, it's exactly the same thing. That's the one thing I just want to be clear, that I can display what's going on with this vector, right, with equal fidelity as these two components. Okay? Is everyone's okay with this? Any questions? Okay, good. All right.